All right. Good evening, everyone. My name is Hallie Ledbetter, and I have the honor of hosting tonight's Rolex Junior All-America Awards. As an AJJ alum myself, though I was not even close to as good as any of you guys in here, I can tell you that tonight is the pinnacle of what you strive for as a junior golfer and extremely special for everyone involved. Rolex has played a timeless role in golf's history, especially for the next generation. Tonight we celebrate our shared pursuit for excellence as we revisit the most brilliant performances, outstanding people, and best moments from 2022. I would like to invite Arnaud Laborde from Rolex to come up and say a few words. Good evening, bonsoir, I should say. Uh, as from Geneva, Rolex. So wonderful to have you here tonight. Uh, for us, it's a great tradition that we started many years ago. And I should uh, mention how we got here. 1967, a handshake with Arnold Palmer and the Big Threes. And uh, here we are in 2022 at the Rolex Awards. 1986, first year with the AJGA. First sponsor, I believe. Now there's many sponsors here in this room tonight. Uh, but Rolex was here to lead the way and believed in golf, believed in the AJGA, and congratulations to the AJGA and its leadership tonight. Stephen, congratulations. Uh, this week we're also celebrating golf at the DP World Tour Championship, um, at the CME title holders, and we have John Rahm, Matt Fitzpatrick, and uh, Lydia Ko close to the lead, if not in the lead, and hopefully they will shine for Rolex. Um, if we're with golf, it's fairly simple. Uh, it's the values of our company. Commitment, quest for perfection, humility, and integrity. So we're talking about golf, we're talking about Rolex, it's exactly the same value. So it's a no-brainer for us to be supporting golf. To you, the players tonight, congratulations for making it here. It's 8,000 of you playing the AJGA, and there's just a few here tonight. You should be proud of your position. You should embrace your, your mission that you have to go in golf, your responsibilities. You are the next generation of leaders, uh, whether it's in golf or some other activities. And you have a role to play today, doing your best, and tomorrow influencing and giving back. So keep it going. Uh, we will cheer you on for many years to come, and we will cheer and support the next generation that will follow you. But please inspire everybody. Um, the last word will be to thank again the AJGF for um, delivering on the promise you gave us when we started to support you, and we'll keep it going for the many years to come. So have a great evening, and thank you for being here. Thank you, Arno. We also have a special message from someone you might recognize, the 2013 Rolex Junior Player of the Year. Hey y'all, Scotty Scheffler. I just wanted to welcome you to the Rolex Tournament of Champions and tonight welcome you to the Rolex All-American Awards. The AJGA had a tremendous impact on my life. Um, I grew up playing in a bunch of their tournaments pretty much all throughout my high school career and I had a ton of fun playing these tournaments, getting to travel the country, be on my own a little bit, doing host housing, stuff like that. Um, I grew up a lot as a person and as a player. Uh, I made a lot of friends that I still have to this day playing playing on the AJGA Tour, and I'm so thankful for all the memories that I have um, from playing, but most of it is from the off-the-course stuff. And like I said, just some of my closest friends to this day I met playing on the AJGA Tour. So I know this week's important to you and you want to play well, but most importantly, just go out and have a good time and have fun and you know forge friendships with people because those are going to last a lot longer than a golf score. And um, As a Rolex ambassador, I'm, I'm proud that they're – been supporters of the AJGA for a long time and support golf globally at the highest level. And so I want to thank Rolex for their support of, of me as a player, but for, for golf and the sporting world, world as a whole. But thank you all for coming to the dinner. I hope you all have a wonderful night and, uh, you know, just get to enjoy being together. All right. Well, thank you, Scotty. And at this time, we'd like to invite you guys to enjoy your dinner and we will resume the program afterwards.
All right, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the greatest night in junior golf. My name is Hallie Ledbetter, and I'm excited to highlight some incredible moments and people from 2022. We begin with the Jerry Cole Sportsmanship Award, which celebrates exceptional character, community involvement, and service to others. Jerry Cole was a 20-year member of the Board of Directors. His passion for junior golf was so strong that at his funeral, every attendee in Chickasaw, Oklahoma, wore an AJGA hat in his honor. A bronze replica hat was created and the award renamed in his memory. I'm excited to announce our first recipient from Prunedale, California, Nikki Inyakov. Seeing kids your own age with food insecurities and walking miles a day for water quickly puts life in perspective. Nicole Inyakov was faced with this reality at the age of 10, and ever since, she strives to be the light for anyone she encounters. Being a daughter of first-generation immigrants and coming from a small city that borders others with extreme poverty, Nicole sees her life as a blessing and an opportunity. She doesn't take her ability to play golf for granted, and she discovered her passion for it through the First Tee program. Because of her golf abilities and the highest honor grades in middle school, she was able to enroll in one of the best high schools in the country. With her efforts on and off the course getting noticed, Nicole received the chance to speak at the National First Tee fundraiser. She simply told her story and highlighted the fact that the First Tee led her to discover her passion in golf and in life. The First Tee taught her what it means to persevere through bad breaks in golf and in life using your best judgment and keeping your integrity. Practicing sportsmanship everywhere she goes, Nicole has earned the deepest respect of everyone who crosses her path. Nicole is the happiest when she does something nice for someone else. The 2022 Jerry Cole Sportsmanship Award recipient stands by the fact that your life doesn't belong to you, it belongs to the people who need you. Nikki, congratulations on receiving this award, well deserved. Thank you so much, it's such an honor to be here in front of you all. Well, we briefly heard your story in this video, uh, but talk to me a little bit about your journey to the U.S. and the challenges that came with that. Absolutely. So both my parents are first generation immigrants and they never grew up with the game of golf. So of course it was, my journey was a lot of trial and error and falling and then getting back up again. And then some challenges that are inherent with being first generation immigrants is of course the language barrier. And one of my favorite stories my mom tells me is about how when she was studying for her license, she translated each word with a dictionary in this student handbook for the driver's end. And it just taught me how to be a strong person like her and to always persevere through absolutely everything. Wow, that's, a, that's an incredible story. How has the first T and the game of golf in general helped shape you as a person? So the first team has taught me every life lesson that I take with me every day. The first team has given me a great sense of community and support, and I know I always have something to fall back on. No matter how hard life gets, the game of golf will always be there for me. So I'm extremely grateful for the game of golf and the first team. Now in the video, we heard the quote, your life doesn't belong to you, it belongs to the people who need you. What does that quote mean to you? So it all started when I went to Africa to help kids in schools when I was about 11, and I realized the privilege I had. And then from that day on, I really dedicated my life to making people's lives better. If it's just one small gesture at a time, it'll ultimately make the world a happier place. I love that. It's really great. So you're an AJJ ACE grant recipient. Can you talk a little bit about that program and what it's enabled you to do? Right, so the AJGA ACE grant is AJGA's financial assistance program. And because of the ACE grant, I'm here right now in front of so many amazing people. And I never even fathomed that I could play the tournaments I do and meet the amazing people I do, and let alone travel all over the country, which is just so amazing and out of my wildest dreams. What is one thing that you hope people take away from hearing you speak tonight? I want people to know that kindness, it's free, and then one small gesture 
can make somebody's day so much better and just pay it forward. All right. Well, you're such an inspiration. Thank you so much and congratulations again on Thank receiving so this much. award. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You can say it and then you can go. Or you can go. Wanna go now? I'll just say. Okay. <laughs> So Nicole's story is one of leadership and giving back to those who have made an impact on your life. As she mentioned, she's the recipient of the AJGA ACE grant. And to date, the program has reimbursed over $6 million to junior golfers, which has resulted, yeah, round of applause right there. And that's resulted in more than $16 million in scholarships to recipients. Like Nicole's, there are countless other stories of how the ACE grant has provided opportunities for players to achieve their dreams. One thing that is so great about the AJGA's ACE grant is giving kids that aren't, um, don't have the financial means to play in these events and travel these events, they have that opportunity now. The ACE grant means so much to me. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be able to play in this event or a few other ones that I've participated in. Um, it means a lot to me and it helps so much every little bit. If we didn't get the ACE grant, like this season kind of would have been over. Like we wouldn't be able to do this. We wouldn't have, you know, a few other tournaments that we're gonna go play because we got that money back. Since 2003, the ACE Grant's uh, given $6 million to junior golfers to be able to compete at uh, AJJ events. I mean, that's just an astonishing number. It just helped me play these kind of tournaments and just gave me this opportunity to kind of give myself exposure to maybe colleges and other uh, coaches, and so it's helped me a lot for my career. The ACE Grant has been able to let me be seen by college coaches more than I would have not been able to because we financially wouldn't have have been able to play in AJGA tournaments. We love being part of it and it's giving her definitely a great opportunity not just to grow as a golfer but as a person as well. Just like growing the game and letting the people that don't have as much opportunity financial wise or family wise to just get them out there and have, let them have the same opportunity. A really incredible program. Now golf is one of the most generous sports in the world and there are so many juniors who help others through different causes. Our second Jerry Cole Sportsmanship Awards recipient is one of those. He uses his network to impact others in huge, huge ways. From Winnetka, Illinois, Ryan Bonas. The inspiration to start something great can come from anywhere. For Ryan Bannis, it's family. Growing up, Ryan's parents and older siblings always taught him to treat everyone with kindness and respect. Having a sister with special needs makes you realize how important it is that people are treated equally. Ryan started the Junior Chicago Cup in 2021, raising $8,250 on his own and $120,000 through the event. The event benefits the Illinois Junior Golf Association, Misericordia Heart of Mercy, and the ACE Grant. He specifically chose the Misericordia Heart of Mercy because of what they provide. Misericordia is a residential community for approximately 600 differently abled individuals to live, work, and live their lives to the fullest. Ryan calls it a small piece of heaven on earth where the community of residents have nothing but kindness for each other and not an ounce of judgment. Ryan's sister Blake lives each day like that as well and hopes to live at Misericordia one day. Ryan has completed multiple projects for Misericordia throughout the years and continues to make a change wherever he sees the need. The 2022 Jerry Cole Sportsmanship Award recipient's main goal is for everyone to live life to the fullest, no matter what their circumstance may be. Ryan, congratulations on receiving this award. Thank you, Hal. It's amazing to be here today. So let's go all the way back to the beginning. What inspired you to originally start giving back? Um, growing up through grade school and family, I was given many opportunities to do service. And after doing a lot of different service projects with my, with my friends, I just kept wanting to do more. And my older sister, Blake, has been a great example for me. And she always pushes me to keep doing more and more every day. So you started the Chicago Cup. I want to hear about that event and the other Cobra Puma State Cup events. Yeah, the AJGA State Cup Series is a great way for junior golfers to come together and raise money for their own charities and also the AJGA Ace Grant. And when Keanu Poyet reached out to me in the fall of 2020 
asking if I wanted to start the Junior Chicago Cup with her. I immediately said yes and was super excited as we invited 30 other junior golfers from the state of Illinois to participate in the two-day Ryder Cup format, format event at Conway Farms. And it, as we all have such busy schedules in the summer and golf is such an individual sport, it's, it's, a, it's a great two days to all to come together and work as a team. And it's, it's always such a special two days and I'm super excited to run it again this year. Absolutely. $120,000 is a lot of money. Did you ever think it was going to get that big? Uh, definitely not. I was, just, I was a little nervous at first, but without the help of Keanu Poyet and Beth Doctor, none of this would be possible. Um, and I'm just so thankful for all their help and support. And every, all the other juniors that have participated in the Junior Chicago Cup with Keanu and I have been amazing. And each, each junior is asked to raise $1,000. And it's great to see each junior re reach that goal. But not only reach it, each, each junior likes to exceed and just keep raising more and more money for the charities. I love that. Why did you end up choosing the charities that you did? Um, along with the JJA's grant and Keanu choosing to raise money for the Illinois Junior Golf Association Scholarship Fund, I chose to raise money for Misericordia Heart of Mercy, which is a local charity in Chicago that is home to 600 residents with disabilities and they're able to have social lives, jobs, and live their lives to the best of their ability. And as I like to refer to it as a small piece of heaven on earth, and it's, it's truly an amazing place. So for those that want to start giving back, may be intimidated about the process, don't know where to start, what advice would you give to those people? Yeah, I was, I was very nervous at first when, when I started out and didn't really know what to expect. And I wasn't sure if I would even be able to get 30 other golfers to join us, but it, it all worked out great. Um, and it's 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 so it's so much fun doing it with all your friends, but none of the help none of it would have been possible without the help from help and support from everyone. And I really encourage anyone in, that w wants to uh, start you know giving back, start joining Leadership Links program to do so because it, it truly is life changing. It, it can help a lot of people out. Amazing. Well, Ryan, thank you so much. You've inspired me. I'm sure you've inspired everybody here. And congratulations again on your award. Thank you. It's an honor to be here today. Two seconds. Next, I'd like to invite the 2022 and 2023 player representatives to the AJGA Board of Directors to the stage to highlight the top moments of the year. We will, where are they coming? Here they come. I'm Katie Lee and I'm joined by Aaron Pounds. We are the 2022 player representatives on the AJJ Board of Directors. Serving on the AJJ Board was an incredible experience and taught me things that I will take with me for the rest of my life. We are also joined by Matt Maloney and Jasmine Koo, who will be the player representatives for 2023. This year was another incredible one for the AJGA. Let's talk about some of the top moments. In 2022, we continued our commitment to making golf more inclusive by reducing fees in several key categories as part of a multi-year plan to remove barriers to entry. In January, Annika continued to invest in the next generation with the 14th Hilton Grand Vacations Annika Invitational presented by Rolex. In February, Adam Scott joined a long list of AJGA tournament hosts as he partnered with Uniglo for the Uniglo Adam Scott Junior Championship in California. 2022 featured another big spring schedule which saw the introduction of qualifiers before all 15 preview events, giving more players an entry into national competition. To begin the summer, we were in Florida at the Team TaylorMade Invitational, which took place at Jupiter Hills Club. Ben James won the event for a second straight year to cap off his junior career. Windland Cup was again a highlight of the summer. I had the honor of playing for the West squad, which had defeated the East team in the 17th annual event, Go West. Rolex girls return to the summer schedule for the 31st time as future Rolex Junior Player of the Year, Caitlin Schroeder won by three shots. The summer ended with the Buick Shenzhen Fang AJGA Girls Invitational, which made its return to the schedule after two years off. Elizabeth Rudisil claimed a one-shot victory. 
For the boys, Jeffrey Guan set the record at the 16th edition of the Junior Players Championship presented by Rolex with a 16 under par 200 at TPC Sawgrass. Two weeks later, I was lucky enough to be a member of the winning United States Junior President's Cup team at Myers Park Country Club in Charlotte. The event was one of the best experiences I've had in golf, and it gave me memories to last a lifetime. It wasn't all about the competition this year. Juniors from around the country got together to participate in State Cup Series events through the AJGA's Leadership Links program. In 2022, there are a total of 17 events which will raise more than one and a quarter million dollars. The AJG wants to give golfers the best experiences that continue this year with a lot of awesome host courses. Beth Page Black, Liberty National, TPC Sawgrass, Jupiter Hills Club, and Loxahatchee Club were just a few. As you can tell, it was a busy and impactful year for the AJGA, but we had some fun too. Let's finish remembering the moments of this year with some of the top posts from the AJGA's social media. Holes are on a tailor-made TP5. 382. 687. 317. Excuse me? Yeah. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a golf course superintendent. That's awesome. Wow, it looks great. Thanks. Hey y'all, this is uh this is what I put on my Chipotle bowl. Just as many memories off the course as on, that is for sure. At this time, I would like to ask all juniors who are scholastic honorees, first team, second team, or honorable mention, Rolex Junior All-Americans, to please exit into the hallway. was a year with many highlights, but the Junior President's Cup was certainly near the top. A few days before the President's Cup, the top 24 boys from the U.S. and around the world met in Charlotte for an unforgettable competition. The U.S. team was led by Nota Begay III, and the international squad was captained by Tim Clark. In the end, the U.S. team retained the cup for the third time, but the whole week was one these players will never forget. Good morning and welcome to the 2022 Junior President's Cup.
The AJGA has an impressive list of alumni that includes some of the b names some of the game's biggest stars. But the AJGA's legacy is not limited to the players. With almost 100 internship positions each year, the AJGA has been developing the next generation of leaders in much the same way it develops the players. We really do have a secondary mission of helping young men and women get to where they want to go in the golf industry, whether it's within the AJGA or outside. And I feel like uh, the AJJ's internship is one of the best uh, training vehicles for young men and women, not only for golf, but for sports. You don't need that much experience. You know, you can, anybody can do it. And that just really spoke to me as far as me not, not knowing a lot about golf. There's just so many things that you can take lead in and you can learn what you take from there and apply it to outside of work, you know, in your, in your life. The opportunities that I have gained from this will really help me in the long run. I've learned to have a good customer service dealing with the players and especially their parents. Um, I've also gained a lot of knowledge in the area of sports. We give them the tools uh, that they need to succeed at the next level, whether it's management, leadership, public speaking, and we are now reaching out to HBCUs and a variety of other uh, minority golf communities to try to bring uh, young men and women of color into golf, and I think the internship's a great way to do that. We have proven that time over time with people who have gone on to the PGA Tour, the LPGA, the USGA, and many others uh, that are out there in leadership positions that, that got their start uh, through the AJJ internship and the AJJ full-time. The AJGA mission focuses on overall growth and development, including in the classroom. Tonight, we honor 44 of the brightest minds from 17 states and three countries. These high school seniors earned a top finish in an opener invitational event and qualified for the honor through academic excellence. Of the scholars recognized, the overall national adjusted GPA was 4.6, with an average 34 ACT and 1,500 SAT. Since 1988, Rolex Scholastic Junior All-Americans have achieved successful college, amateur, and professional golf careers. Alumni include Casey Martin, Kelly Booth, Boyd Summerhays, Matt Kuchar, and Tiffany Joe. I present to you the 2022 Rolex Scholastic All-America, excuse me, Junior All-America honorees. Please hold all applause until after all the honorees have been recognized. From Pleasanton, California, Kush Aurora. From Taipei City, Taiwan, Jeremy Chen. From Alpharetta, Georgia, Ethan Gao. From Yorba Linda, California, Carson Kim. From Henderson, Nevada, Joanne Lee. From Washington, D.C., Grant Lester. From Basking Ridge, New Jersey, Katie Lee. From Bethesda, Maryland, Alexander Malloy. From Cypress, New Jersey, Maggie Nee. From Phoenix, Arizona, Charlie Palmer.
from Alpharetta, Georgia, Rahul Rajendran. From Dublin, Ohio, Audrey Yu. From Greenwich, Connecticut, Andrew Stickle. From Austin, Texas, Henry Stone. From Richmond Hills, Ontario, Alyssa Zhu. From Princeton, New Jersey, Madeline Zhang. And from Surrey, Canada, Bonnie Zai. Congratulations to all of the 2022 Rolex Scholastic Junior All-America honorees. During the fall for the past four decades, the best junior golfers in the world have earned distinction as Rolex Junior All-Americans. Tonight, the top boys and girls from the 2022 season join a list of past outstanding alumni, including Tiger Woods, Scotty Scheffler, Nellie Korda, Justin Thomas, Lexi Thompson, Jordan Spieth, N.B. Park, Paula Kramer, and Cameron Champ. These junior golfers from 24 states and 10 countries excelled on the course during more than 140 national junior golf events, including more than 100 conducted by the AJGA. I present the Rolex Junior All-America Honorable Mention Team. Please hold all applause until after all the Rolex Junior All-Americans are recognized. From Calvert, Kentucky, Trinity Beth. From St. George, Utah, Boston Bracken. From Taipei City, Taiwan, Jeremy Chen. From Marietta, California, Kylie Choi. From Monterey, Mexico, Eduardo Derbez Torres. From Lafayette, Louisiana, Hale Fontenot. From Merida, Mexico, Sebastian Gamboa. From Stillwater, Oklahoma, Grant Goodgell. From Los Angeles, California, Katie Ha. From Katy, Texas, May Huang. From Costa Mesa, California, Annika Ishiyama.
from Katy, Texas, Malin Kim. From Henderson, Nevada, Bryn Court. From La Mirada, California, Jeffrey Kwok. From Irvine, California, Bowen Land. From Henderson, Nevada, Joanne Lee. From Fullerton, California, Yurang Lee. From Irvine, California, Angela Liu. From Wilmington, Delaware, Avery McCreary. From Cypress, Texas, Maggie Nee. From Lexington, Kentucky, Caden Pope. From Miami, Florida, Nicholas Prieto. From Chandler, Arizona, Jennifer Sayo. From Centerville, Virginia, Ryland Shim. From Enterprise, Alabama, John Ed Steed. From Chowchilla, California, Asterisk Tally. From Wichita, Kansas, Asher Whitaker. From Reunion, Florida, Sue Wee Woo. From West Covina, California, Ashley Yoon. From Bellevue, Washington, Angela Shung. Present the Rolex Junior All America second team from Wake Forest, North Carolina, Kira Bartholomew. Oh, are they? Huh? From West Point, Mississippi, Emerson Blair.
from Toronto, Canada, Vanessa Borovillos. From Plano, Texas, oh, excuse me, messed that up. From Mesa, Arizona, Johnny Clark. From Plano, Texas, Ethan Fang. From San Luis Potosi, Mexico, Gerardo Gomez. From Bellevue, Washington, Max Herendine. From Duluth, Georgia, Sarah M. From Rome, Georgia, Tanana Kocha Sanmani. From Irvine, California, Elise Lee. From Sheboygan, Michigan, PJ Maybank. From Pennington, New Jersey, Megan Mang. From Phoenix, Arizona, Adam Miller. From Daniel Island, South Carolina, Matt Maloney. From the Woodlands, Texas, Aaron Pounds. From St. Mary's, Georgia, Jack Roberts. Just keeping it interesting, Jack, you, you caught that. From Charlotte, North Carolina, Elizabeth Rudisill. From Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, Camden Smith. From Raleigh, North Carolina, Smith Summerlin. From Vancouver, Canada, Vanessa Zhang. From Irvine, California, Alice Zhao. Now presenting the Rolex Junior All-America First Team from Irvine, California, Lee Chien. From Estero, Florida, Gianna Clement.
from Spring Valley, California, Anna Davis. From Alpharetta, Georgia, Ethan Gao. From Downington, Pennsylvania, Nicholas Gross. From Dallas, Texas, Henry Guan. From Brookville, Maryland, Brian Kim. From Yorba Linda, California, Carson Kim. From Chapel Hill, North Carolina, Jackson Coyvin. From Cerritos, California, Jasmine Koo. From Pleasanton, California, Jacqueline Laha. From Plano, Texas, Byung Ho Lee. From Fullerton, California, Eric Lee. From San Diego, California, Jay Lang Jr. From Basking Ridge, New Jersey, Katie Lee. From Winston-Salem, North Carolina, Macy Pate. From San Jose, California, Kiara Romero. And from Jacksonville, Florida, Caitlin Schroeder. A huge round of applause for all of the 2022 Rolex Junior All-Americans. Tonight, it is my honor to introduce one of the 2022 Rolex Junior Players of the Year. She is the kindest, most humble soul I know. Win or lose, good golf or bad, she always has a smile on her face, and her presence lifts the mood in any room she's in. She's an incredible golfer, but an even more incredible person. She's an AJJ Invitational Champion who competed in nine events recognized by the Rolex AJJ rankings. She claimed five top 10 finishes, including a win at the Rolex Girls Junior Championship and was a member of the Wyndham Cup East team a three-time Rolex Junior All-American from Jacksonville, Florida, Caitlin Schroeder.
Good evening, everyone. First off, I'd like to thank Katie for introducing me. That was amazing. Um, um, it's such an honor to be here tonight to receive this prestigious award. Many of the people who received this award have gone on to do great things on and off the golf course, which gives me hope for what the future holds. Three years ago, I got to play in this event as my first invitational. At the banquet, I watched many players I looked up to receive awards which motivated me to get to where I am today. I truly never could have imagined winning this award back then. Coming into the year, this was the biggest goal on my list. I believed I was someone who could do it, but let winning distract me from what I was really trying to do, just play golf. The first two events of this year were far from my best. Going into those weeks, I focused far too much on the outcome rather than just trying to play golf. I took some time off before summer and used it to reflect and remind myself that it is okay to not win, that life will go on, and to trust my process. The most memorable week of the year for me was Rolex Girls Junior Championship. It was my first invitational win and it happened to be held in my home state. Both of my parents were able to watch. It was a four day event and I slept in the lead every night, which is one of the most difficult things to do in our sport. For me, this made that win even more special. Winning this year's Junior PGA Championship was another unbelievable moment. It was different than Rolex Girls because I had to come from behind on the last day. Between these two events, I gained invaluable experience for the future and confidence that I am never out of it. The most fun week of the year was by far Wyndham Cup. Go East! I could not have asked for better teammates and having Oski and Libby, whose real name is Libinator, as captains made it even more special. Old Sandwich was also an incredible place to host such a fun competition. Whether it was watching our team make clutch putts, jamming in the car to some Kesha, or just hanging out at the arcade, I made memories that I will never forget. To the next generation of AJGA players, boy, are you in for some fun. The AJGA will take you to some of the most amazing places while making friendships that will last a lifetime. You also get to compete against the best of the best in junior golf, which pushes you more than anything ever will. Getting to do this every week teaches you great life lessons, and there is nothing that has helped me mature more over the years. It has taught me how your attitude can affect you on and off the golf course. Hopefully, it does the same for you. My biggest advice is that no one can stop you from working hard and chasing your dreams. There are so many people I could thank tonight, but first off, I want to start with Rolex, especially Arno Laborde and Dustin Longest. None of this would be possible without you, so from me and everyone in the room, thank you. Next, I would like to thank Mr. Hamlin and all the AGGA staff for everything y'all do for us. One of my favorite things about the AGGA is their incredible staff. Every event, you put in so much time and hard work, and you have created many future opportunities for us. From myself and all the junior golfers out there, I would like to say thank you. To the former UNF players who were my biggest role models growing up, thank you for showing me what it takes to be successful and for treating me like your little sister. To my fitness and swing coach, Dan, Adam, and Travis, thank you for always being there for me. I would not be on this stage without you. And finally, to my parents, you have sacrificed and done more for me than I could have ever asked for. You have been the two biggest influences in my life and have shown me what hard work looks like. I could be up here all night thanking you, but I won't make everyone sit through that. I feel so blessed to be here tonight with all of you and thank you for making it so special for me. I hope you'll have a great rest of your evening and I can't wait to see what the future has in store. Roll Tide. Our next Rolex Junior Player of the Year is committed to the University of California, Berkeley. He competed in nine events recognized by the Rolex AJGA rankings. He never finished outside the top 10 in all nine events, including a win at the Rolex Tournament of Champions. He was also a member of the victorious West Wyndham Cup team and U.S. Junior President's Cup teams. A two-time Rolex Junior All-American from Fullerton, California, Eric Lee.
Hello, everyone. I am blessed and honored to be awarded the 2022 Rolex Player of the Year. This has been one of my goals since the beginning of this season. First of all, I would like to thank Rolex, especially Arno Laborde and Dustin Longest. I would also like to thank the AJGA and their staff, as well as Mr. Stephen Hamblin. These events would not have been possible without them. Lastly, I would like to thank my family for always supporting me and giving me the opportunity to compete in these prestigious events. I cannot thank you guys enough for all the sacrifices you have made for me and always helping me improve myself. And also to my coach, Charlie Wee, I've learned things about the game I never thought I had to know, and you've helped me become the player I am now. I had many memorable moments this season, especially playing for the USA team at the Junior President's Cup. Uh, it was a great experience having Nota Big to third and Adam Rogers as our captain and leading us to a comeback victory. Uh, shout out to Henry for clinching the winning point. Where's Henry? Let's go. Uh, and the highlight of my season this year was at the Wyndham Cup. Uh, thanks to Jackson and Aaron for playing a huge part in the two points I won for the team. And uh, getting together as a team and bringing the cup back to the West was a moment I will never forget. And it wouldn't have been possible without the help of Captain Jay Mills and Sid. Uh, the previous winners of this award went on to do great things in their career, and I hope to follow in their footsteps. Uh, winning the Rolex Tournament of Champions last year was a big milestone in my junior career. It has given me confidence and motivation to start chasing for this award. And finally, having my name added to the long history of this award feels unreal and is something I'll cherish forever. Uh, the AJJ has shaped me in many ways. Playing in these events has helped uh, me improve in both my game and as a person. Competing with the best junior golfers from all over the world has motivated me to work even harder and get better each day. I've made lifelong friends along the way and they have also shaped me into who I am today. And I want to shout out Jackson for being my toughest competitor and also one of my best friends. The memories we have made on and off the golf course are ones that will last a lifetime and I can't wait to compete against you in college next fall. <laughs> I also want to thank all of my other friends for always making me laugh and giving me memories I can look back on. And to the new friends I made this year, I look forward to what's coming in the future. As we make the transition into college golf next year, I hope that we can pass the torch on to the next wave of players and become role models that they can look up to in the future. Thank you. Congratulations, Eric and Caitlin. What a, what a great year, year you had this year. Let's give it up for all the award winners one more time. I'm Stephen Hamlin, Executive Director of the American Junior Golf Association, and I fell in love with the AJGA in the early 80s when Davis Love and Scott Verplank and uh, Melissa McNamara and all these wonderful players were playing. I was a resident professional at the Copperhead and I was so taken with the quality of their play, their dedication to the game, uh, the way they treated and respected each other, the history, the traditions, and I just was totally overwhelmed. Those same qualities we saw this evening and that's what makes working at the AJJ so rewarding, is to help you young men and women get to fulfill your dreams. We just love it. I want to wrap up the evening and just tell you how proud we are to celebrate golf's next generation. And if it, you are truly golf's next generation, golf is in great hands. It's important to thank those that have made this evening possible. So I do want to thank the AJGA Board of Directors. Uh, they've been my guide and my uh, light. Uh, and Digger, thank you for mentoring me all these years. I, I certainly have appreciate, appreciated that. We have to give a shout out to TPC San Antonio. Uh, what a great property this is, and we're gonna have some fun this week. Taylor Made and Adidas, thank you for being our national Spartan partners. You're the anchor. Uh, for what we do, and we could not do it without you. To Rolex, 
36 years of partnering with the American Junior Golf Association. Not only are they a great partner, they're great friends and pretty good golfers too. I've lost a few dollars to them. Uh, I also want to th thank the parents. Uh, your sons and daughters are a great reflection on you uh, to see these young people come up and, and what they've done both in the classroom, on the golf course, and in their communities is fantastic. To the AJGA staff, uh, we have a crew uh, that did this, put this banquet together, Lawrence Shelley, Mary Ann Cowger, Tim Jackman, and Haley Hernandez. Thank you for a great job this evening. And to uh, Mitch, Mitch is now taking over. He's the tournament director, so now it's in his hands. Uh, this is uh, a major event for him, and he's got a great staff to, to hold him up. So I hope everyone had a wonderful evening. Now you know why we call it the greatest night in junior golf. Have a great time the rest of the evening, and good luck this week to everybody.